Hi guys, good evening. How are you doing? Everything good? Hi. Hi. Good evening. Hi. It's nice to see you again. How was the weekend? It's okay. It was okay? Yes. <laughs> Did somebody do something exciting or not really? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Just stay at home, right? What else can we do? Okay, well, <laughs> welcome guys. We're gonna begin, okay, so we can make progress. Let me see where we left off. Oh, we already did the purposes and uses. Um, there's this infinitive. So we were here. How are you doing with the platform? Are you up to date? Are you behind or ahead on the platform? Nothing? <laughs> I'm up to date. You're up to date, very good. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying, are you up to date? Are you behind, meaning behind, right? Or are you ahead? Up to date. Up to date. Up to date. Okay. Up to date. All right, that's good. Alexandra, Carla. Up to date. All right, awesome. Very good. I like that. So, this we already finished. We're going so fast because now it's going to be section three, I think. So, it's a lot. We will have more time to practice later. All right. Let it load. Get stuck. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. I don't know what's happening. Not working. Yeah, it's freezing, right? Yeah, it's frozen. No, and I click enter and it's not working. Nothing is working. Mm. It's Monday. <laughs> It doesn't want to work. It's not working. <laughs> what? Okay, do you have access to a platform, all of you? Yes. Yes. Okay, here it is. Maybe I have too many stuff open. Maybe that's what it is. Close, close. Maybe it's too much. Here we are, and read about technology in the future. Nice way to do this. Okay, it's working. So, Fernando, can you read the objective, please? Whenever we get to it, because it's again. Okay, there it is, finally. Go ahead, Fernando. In this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing celebration. For discussing. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, that sounded more like disgusting <laughs> for some reason. Yes. Okay, so pretty simple. Let's watch. Try to take notes, guys. It's a very short video, but I would like you to write the vocabulary, okay? Let's watch. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Very good. Remember you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Okay, now repeat after me. Parade. So let's say anniversary. 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 Yeah, make sure you're saying this, right? Anniversary. 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 Cake. 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 Cake.
cards, cards. cards. You see, right? Our c -c -c card. Cards. cards. Dancing. 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 Fireworks. 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 Flowers. 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 Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Parade. Parade. Party. 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 Present. Present. Turkey. Rose. Turkey. Turkey. And wedding. 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 Very good. So you know the meaning of all of them, don't you? Yes. Yes. Yep. They're easy. All right. Yep. So yeah. we're going to do an exercise right now to generate vocabulary. If you don't know a word, I would recommend you look it up. If I'm in the group, you can ask me directly if I'm there, if you see me, okay? I'm going to be going around anyway. So here's what I would like you to write. A list of items that you need for a wedding and for a uh, birthday or for a baby shower okay can you help me with one more event one more yeah for a wedding we already have wedding right birthday shower. baby shower what else a funeral. Anniversary. Funeral. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> All right. So you're going to choose three. Okay. Just choose three out of four and try to make a list of the things you need in order to celebrate this. But do it as oh. fast as you can. All right. Brainstorm. And I want you to generate vocabulary. Is that clear? Okay. Ready? Let's practice. Yes. Here we go. Access the invitation, please. And write a list, everyone. Here we go. Okay, we can start with the wedding, I think. Wedding, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, if you're okay, we can we can do one example for, for us. I can start and we need... A wedding dress. But, uh, uh, yes, sure, a wedding dress and Shoes. <laughs> Cake. Uh, Cake. Groom and bride. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know this this topic, Fatima. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any idea about this. <laughs> I'm I'm married. <laughs> ah, sure. <laughs> it's a point. <laughs> um, a broom. Tables and chairs. Wine. Tables Wine. and chairs. Wine. Champagne. <laughs> Champagne, yes. Music. Yeah. Chairs. Dance floor. Dance floor. Tables. Mm. Tables. Mm -hmm. Tables and chairs. Yes, table. Uh, um, Some snacks. The local. Yeah. Bells. Um, rings. Uh, 
Talong of Quilling. Balong. Balong. Paul, can you can you get your microphone closer, please? We hear you very far away. Put it like this, closer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you hear Paul? Not right. Salon wedding. Salon of wedding. Now, now we hear you better. A wedding. The black. Right. A wedding the black. ballroom. Wedding ballroom. Let me write it for you. Wedding ballroom. Yes. Church. Or a church, right? Wedding ballroom. Okay. You don't need um, to write those many. You can go to the next one. People. Yeah, you need people. <laughs> <laughs> the guest. Uh -huh, you need guests. I like that word. It's more specific guests. So check wedding ball ballroom. Ball ballroom. Ballroom. Yeah, that is where people are going to dance, right? It's a reception where you have mm -hmm. ballroom. Okay. Ballroom. Okay. Now another event. Birthday. 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 That's a birthday. 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 Games. We need um, candles. Or candles. <laughs> You're meeting the guests. How... Have you included guests? Uh, <laughs> you, you between G and E. Guess. Yes. No, you. G. Ah, S. 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 T. S. No, S. T. S. Guess. Oh. <laughs> no, S. 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 in Sam. T. S. Yes, like that. Another S. Ah. Plural. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Sandwich. Sandwiches. Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, candies, I think. Yeah, candies. Candies. Yes. Also a piñata, right? Depending if yes. you're a child. A piñata. For an adult too. But <laughs> we are like yeah, money, like... <laughs> Money and okay, that's good another idea. type of candies. <laughs> <laughs> other types of candies? I don't know what you mean, but all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. A lot. Etc. <laughs> Etc. Etc. All right. Great job. Did you finish the three of them? Sort of. Yes. Yeah. So. All right. I'm going to add some of them. Maybe we can have yes. new vocabulary. Let me see. So for a baby shower, what do we need? You know what we need? We need a pregnant woman to begin with. <laughs> right? That's the first yeah, thing. It's, true. <laughs> it's important, I think. <laughs> That's elemental. Very pregnant woman. What else? A baby. A baby. A baby. Inside the belly of mm -hmm. a pregnant woman, so it's okay. Uh huh. Gifts. A gift. Yeah. Cake. Cake. What else? Baby bottles. Maybe. Yes. Bottles, maybe. Okay. All right. Do for the games. Uh, for <laughs> a wedding, what do you need? Okay. Rings. Rings. Mm -hmm. Champagne, flowers, alcohol. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. Groom and bride. Yes, you need the broom, the parent, flowers, bride. flowers, food. A lot of flowers. Hey, you need music as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dance floor. Tables. 
No, you know what? With someone, we said you need a ballroom, which is where you dance. Ballroom. Ballroom. Yes, you need a groom and a bride. Yeah, this is mm. elementary, just like the baby here. All right, very good. Graduation, what do you need? You need a invitation to finish, to be? <laughs> finish the university, right, or something? And inv some invitations. A teacher. Invitations. You need a teacher? Yeah, well, there's always a teacher there, right? At least, okay. Photograph. Ah, photographer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good, very good. What else? Um, that's enough. Okay, very good. So now, guys, pay attention. Do you have your notebooks with you? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. We're going to watch traditions around the world on how to celebrate weddings. Okay. I would like you to write the country and the activities they do to celebrate because I will ask you at the end of the video. Okay. So you will have two opportunities to write it because I'm going to play it twice. So pay attention to all of them and try to write the, um, the activities they do or the, the costumes. Okay, ready? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Watch. Cultures throughout the world have their own unique ideas on how to say I do. We're taking you around the globe to show you how people celebrate their big day. The dollar dance, also known as the money or apron dance, is a tradition associated with countries all over, including Poland, Hungary, Nigeria, Philippines, and Mexico. These videos feature a Mexican-American wedding and Mexican-Filipino wedding. Money is tossed, handed, or pinned onto the couple, while different guests take turns dancing with the newlyweds. The money is a great way to help with a little extra financial support and to let them know you wish them a life of prosperity. Jumping the broom refers to a wedding tradition in which a couple literally jumps over a broom. There's a misconception that it began during slavery in the United States, but it originated in Ghana and is still practiced there. The broom holds spiritual value and symbolizes the sweeping away of evils and past wrongs. Today, some African-American couples include it in their ceremony as a tribute to tradition. In Greece, the kumbaro is similar to the best man. On the morning of the wedding, they help the groom prepare for the ceremony by helping them shave and get ready. It's a practice that signifies trust between close friends. In the days before the wedding, one or both of the fiancés are taken by their friends and family and covered in various substances like soot, feathers, food, and more. The tradition started as a way to ward off danger from supernatural forces. After being covered up, they're paraded around town while their friends make plenty of noise and make a scene for all to see. The Chinese tea ceremony is a wedding tradition that bonds two families together. While kneeling, the couple serves tea to their parents. Traditionally, the couple serves the groom's parents and elders in order of seniority, followed by the bride's family. This serves as a formal introduction to show respect and to express gratitude. In return, the couple usually receives lucky red envelopes with money or jewelry. In this pre-wedding ritual, turmeric paste is rubbed onto the couple's skin by friends and family. In India, turmeric can signify a lot of things, including purity, fertility, and good health. The paste also gives the couple a nice glow for their big day. The ceremony is usually accompanied by traditional song and dance and is supposed to ease nerves. This German tradition has guests smashing porcelain before the wedding to wish the couple luck in their married life. The couple is responsible for cleaning up the shards to symbolize teamwork. The more shards of broken dishes, the better the luck the couple will have. Okay, so I guess you took some notes. We're gonna watch again. So what, after the video, I will play, for example. I will tell you, um, dollar dance and you're going to describe what it is about and what it means what it represents okay 
So now pay close attention and I will play it once again. Cultures throughout the world have their own unique ideas on how to say I do. We're taking you around the globe to show you how people celebrate their big day. The dollar dance, also known as the money or apron dance, is a tradition associated with countries all over, including Poland, Hungary, Nigeria, Philippines, and Mexico. These videos feature a Mexican-American wedding and Mexican-Filipino wedding. Money is tossed, handed, or pinned onto the couple, while different guests take turns dancing with the newlyweds. The money is a great way to help with a little extra financial support and to let them know you wish them a life of prosperity. Jumping the broom refers to a wedding tradition in which a couple literally jumps over a broom. There's a misconception that it began during slavery in the United States, but it originated in Ghana and is still practiced there. The broom holds spiritual value and symbolizes the sweeping away of evils and past wrongs. Today, some African-American couples include it in their ceremony as a tribute to tradition. In Greece, the kumbaro is similar to the best man. On the morning of the wedding, they help the groom prepare for the ceremony by helping them shave and get ready. It's a practice that signifies trust between close friends. In the days before the wedding, one or both of the fiancés are taken by their friends and family and covered in various substances like soot, feathers, food, and more. The tradition started as a way to ward off danger from supernatural forces. After being covered up, they're paraded around town while their friends make plenty of noise and make a scene for all to see. The Chinese tea ceremony is a wedding tradition that bonds two families together. While kneeling, the couple serves tea to their parents. Traditionally, the couple serves the groom's parents and elders in order of seniority, followed by the bride's family. This serves as a formal introduction to show respect and to express gratitude. In return, the couple usually receives lucky red envelopes with money or jewelry. In this pre-wedding ritual, turmeric paste is rubbed onto the couple's skin by friends and family. In India, turmeric can signify a lot of things, including purity, fertility, and good health. The paste also gives the couple a nice glow for their big day. The ceremony is usually accompanied by traditional song and dance and is supposed to ease nerves. This German tradition has guests smashing porcelain before the wedding to wish the couple luck in their married life. The couple is responsible for cleaning up the shards to symbolize teamwork. The more shards of broken dishes, the better the luck the couple will have. The better the luck. All right, let's see, let's go one by one. Um, so we have the first one here in Mexico, which is the dollar dance, right? Where is it? Okay, what is this about? A volunteer? The guests put the, some money in the, in the cloth mm -hmm. and, dance, and dance with the groom and bride and represent the prosperity. Okay, would you like to do this if you had a wedding again or for the first time? Would you like this? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Definitely yes. I because I saw some twenty dollars or more in the club. Yeah. Sounds <laughs> <Yeah>. good. <laughs> Look, it looks good, right? <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Now let's see. What is this about? Jump in the broom. No. Somebody else, help me out. Symbolize. Symbolize sleeping away from the demons. It's a, it's a curious tradition, I think. Really? Would you do something like that? Mm, I'm not no. sure. No. <laughs> no. Okay, good, good. So I would like everyone to participate. Okay, now let's see this one. 
guys, tell me about this. What is it? And would you like to do it? Or do you agree with that? You like it? How do you feel? Uh, I think it's, it's about friendship. Only that. <laughs> that was so short. Jose, <laughs> Yes, yes uh, it's the same as say, I don't know, Fernando or Roberto, is the, the friendship of their room. Uh, Shay, they get ready to the, the room, right? And, and prepare for the wedding. What do you think about this tradition? Uh, I think it's so maybe with only with your clones, clones friends, right? But it's close friends. Stranger, right? In here, I don't know. Okay. Very good. Let's see another one. Blackening. Oh my gosh. What is this about? Who wants to describe it? Which country is that? Scotland. Yeah. Scotland. Oh, okay, yeah, Scotland. Okay. Uh huh. So, Carla Molina, tell us, what is this about? Is, I didn't understand that very well, but uh, they uh, threw the, on the room, uh, I don't know what they uh, put on. What is it that they throw, guys? I wrote something. They... Like ah, food, like fishes, and uh, fish. Uh, the throw some of fish is fish, right? Fish, food, uh, what else? Some powders, uh, I don't know. Uh -huh. And feathers. Feathers. Yeah, I didn't understand why, why they do that. Carla Chang, do you have any idea? No teacher, my internet is very bad, so I don't I don't see the video. Oh, you couldn't see it. All right. Roberto? I think it's also for for the 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 black the demons or something. Yeah, it's like to keep them away from danger. But they also make a lot of noise in a scene so that everyone can see them. So they take them around the neighborhood <laughs> so they can see them. Uh, it's very curious yeah what do you think about this practice or tradition Roberto, anybody Paul, uh, too, too, too much work to do it's too much. Uh, some crazy <laughs> crazy, <laughs> it, is so crazy. <laughs> it makes it's like a prank. prank yeah right very good let's see another one the tea ceremony who hasn't participated Let's see, Paul, tell us. You're muted. You're mute, Paul. All right, excuse me. Um, okay, uh, I see that uh, Chinese position is uh, to drink uh, tea mm -hmm. for pros prosperity. prosperity. Pros prosperity. Yeah. Prosperity. All right. It's a uh, very, very good tradition uh, that I see. And for the uh, Chinese culture. Culture. Say um, culture. What are they doing, guys? Culture, yes. What are they doing here? What? Um, They're like this. They are, How do you say uh, that? Yes, like yes. a bang the knee. They are <laughs> over kneeling over here. Down. Yes. The verb is here. kneel down. Kneel down. So try to get vocabulary from yes. videos, right? They're kneeling down yes. and serving tea. And I said uh, over here, her, his knees, but knees down. It's very well. Down is the verb, right? Okay, what about the last one here? Aldi in India. Well, turmeric paste is. 
What is this about? They, they prove them then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. They're robbing them. Without. It's like it's like uh, porky soup. A soup, really? I didn't get that. Porky soup. Really? And what is it for? It's meal. It's meal. It's meal like it's meal like porky soup. Okay, no, I don't know. I, I think I think the it's um some essence. Some sense, okay. Or sense. sense. And finally, breaking the dishes. What is that for? I didn't know. The oh, yeah. Islam ceramic ceramic. It's great porcelain and the couple have to break have to clean, sorry. The whole mess. Yeah, it means the... like a teamwork. Yep. Very good. Breaking okay. dishes. Breaking dishes, right. So what tradition do we have in El Salvador for weddings? Do we have any? Throw the the flowers. A dance. Dancing. Make a dance. Throw in the flowers. Dancing. Okay, what else? The uh, white take, the uh, white take out the leaves. The, the white dress. Uh huh. The white dress is another one. Very good. We don't have interesting traditions, right? Like that? No. <laughs> We're only <No>. boring. <laughs> <laughs> Very traditional. I don't know. We don't right. have Salvadorian traditions. It's more like uh, uh, normal in, in America. We don't. Yes, it's a normal tradition. Uh huh. They're not out of the. They're they're common, right? Not out out of the ordinary. Okay, we're going to discuss some questions, guys. I'm going to send you some questions to WhatsApp, all right? But we're going to start with this one. So saying, what, what is an ideal party for you? All right, describe the ideal party, the most perfect one. All right, start with this question, and I will send you more questions through WhatsApp in a little bit, all right? Let's work with different people. Practice speaking, okay? Let's do it right now. Oh, one second. We're going to work in groups of three so you can discuss. There it is. Accept the invitation, please. Paul, are you there?
San Martín, yes. What about you, Fatima? What Excuse about me? you, your idea party? This is maybe a, a get to party. I really mm -hmm. like her. Okay. Um, I like this. I really like this this topic and um, with and a lot of alcohol too. <laughs> <laughs> That's really important. <laughs> More alcohol than than food. <laughs> Some, some with meat. my close friends and family. <laughs> yes, we have another question here. What makes a happy marriage? What do you think? The communication. I think yeah. is the first. Yeah. Honesty, right? Honesty. 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 And and girls, respect. girls, are you married? No, right? No, thank yes, you. I'm not. I'm married. Just Fatima. Carlos, <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I pass. I'm happy. I'm happy. I already, I, I already six years married. I've been married for six years. Yeah. And you're I'm happy. Not. I'm okay. happy. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Are you happy, Carla Molina? I'm happy single. I think right? yeah. another person may may have may have may marry. Yeah, yeah, you're right. What makes a happy marriage? Marriage. 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 Mm, okay, I think honesty is key. For a happy marriage, what do you think? Yes, honesty. Say, say the truth all the time. Tell uh -huh. me. Uh, Don't be toxic. <laughs> not, <laughs> not being toxic. Con, the conf, confidence. Confidence. Trust. Confidence. Okay, uh -huh. confidence. Trust. Fernando, are uh, you married? No. And you, Jacqueline? No. Okay, so we're just guessing, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, yes. You, you are correct. Guys, are you married? No, I no yet, miss. <laughs> and you, Roberto and Paul? Yes. Yeah. Roberto, you're married. Paul? Yes. What, teacher? Are you married? Uh, once a time. <laughs> one time. Oh, one. Really? Okay. No, one time ago. <laughs> in the past, in the past I was. Right? Uh -huh, say, I was in, in the, the past. past. In the past, yes. Not anymore. <laughs> yes. Well, here we have all points of, points of view, right? The single yes. one, the divorced one, or separated yeah. and the married one, so you can give opinions. Uh, have you seen the questions yes. on the phone? Oh, okay, let me see. Uh -huh. The first question says, what makes a happy marriage? So what do you need oh, okay. for a happy marriage? Oh, okay, happy marriage. Mm -hmm. Do you agree or disagree? People say the marriage is outdated. Mm. I now understand the qu this question. Este to dice all, que algunas personas piensan it. que está desfasado, desfasado, como anticuado, que es muy Perfect anticuado o desfasado. Okay. No, I, I disagree with that. <laughs> yes, yes, I am disagree. I disagree. 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 Uh, you don't disagree. need to verify, so I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Why? Tell me why. Mm. I think it's a it's a step that every every couple should do, right? Take. You uh, take a step. Take. 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 If they want to. If they want to. That's good. Uh -huh. That's yes. important, Fernando. If they want to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. This was really funny. In. 
Was it funny or fun? Funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, well, what you were talking about? Uh, fun anyway. too, fun too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next one will be what do your parents tell you about getting married? Oh, my mom, it's really excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Alexandra? I'm 28. Ah, so she's pushing you like, oh, you're pushing 30. You should probably get uh, married. Is she saying Yeah, that? mostly with oh. kids because my sister had a, uh, my beautiful nephew. Oh. But I, I, I love my nephew, but I don't like kids. I don't want <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I prefer cats, <laughs> but my oh, mom is like pushing with a wedding and kids. It's like a calm down, mom. I need to to travel a lot uh -huh. yeah. for that. Mm. So you don't want to have children at all, Alexander? No, it's not for me. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I respect that. I don't want yeah. children, but maybe I would like to adopt in seven years, maybe. Yeah. Sure. It's a good I idea. Think, I think it's, that's a good idea. I think mm -hmm. I share the yeah. opinion. Yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> I have a little daughter, a beautiful daughter. Oh. <laughs> I was really happy with. She's amazing. She's uh, out of the, this world. I can't mm. some words to to describe her. Uh, it, it's really, oh, it, it's really amazing. How, how old is she? You recommend having Three years. children, Fatima? Uh, huh? You recommend having children? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what about adopting, Fatima? If we want to adopt, what do you think? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. This yeah. topic, it fits with Fatima. It's about <laughs> marriage and children. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, but we can also discuss it even if we're not married. We can say, yeah, I don't want to get married. I do. So, yeah, that's good. It's interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I like your points of view. The marriage is outdated to old-fashioned and not needed. Do you agree or disagree? Yes, I think um, in these days, uh, the most common uh, Razor. Did you agree? Did you did you agree or, or disagree? I think I think it's a little bit agree. I, I don't know. Say a little bit, but it's... you don't need get married. Yeah, I think it's something like a traditional, right? But you, but if you are sure or you had the correct person, and both are agree about it and yeah. both both agree yes yeah, they they both are agree i think no, wait, without the verb be and both agree uh, both agree you say i agree she agrees both, both agree without the verb both. to be oh huh. yeah they both both agree right uh-huh is this okay robert is no agree <laughs> Roberto, what do you think? Is it outdated? No. He I no. Describe your perfect spouse. <laughs> perfect spouse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> what? What means? <laughs> it's uh -huh. it's cold. It's hard. It's too hard. Describe your perfect. Wife, oh, wife. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a difficult question. <laughs> you are inspired. Right? <laughs> yes, 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 exactly. So, what else? This is the last one. Okay. Well, no more talking about marriage. <laughs> it's good for tonight. <laughs> yes. Please. No, but yeah, Enough. it was interesting because um, 
I heard a lot of you saying, yeah, it's outdated. It's not outdated. I don't want babies. I want to adopt. Babies are the best. So I heard like a lot of opinions <laughs> that they were different. That's good. Okay, now we can change topics, right? And we're going to study relative clauses of time. Okay, get your notebooks ready. Okay, let's write down the explanation so that we can practice tomorrow. All right, let's watch. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. Did you get it? That was too fast. Yeah. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. Okay. No, but it will be clear with the next video. There's another one, a longer one. Tell me that's it. Part one. It's okay. in the same page. There is this a part two. Oh, really? Okay, thank you. So it's down here? Yep, there it is. Relative clauses of time. Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. February 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. What is a relative clause of time? A relative clause of time refers to a time, date or moment previously mentioned. They are usually introduced by the verb be. Right after the verb be, a noun phrase may follow. Example, the day, the month, the year, the season. And because we're referring to time, we will use when. Take a look at the structure and work with us on the following examples. Date plus verb be plus a noun phrase plus a relative clause of time when plus complement. If we study the first example, Valentine's Day is a day when people give presents to their loved ones. Valentine's Day is the date, is is the verb be, a day, noun phrase, when, relative clause of time, people give presents to their loved ones would be the complement. Go on reading the other examples and try to understand them before you're asked to do the exercises. We want you to finish the following sentence using a relative pronoun when in our discussion box. Ready? Mother's Day is a day. A wedding anniversary is a time. No more weddings. <laughs> okay, let's complete this. Because we're going to study this tomorrow. This is just like an introduction, all right? So mother, Mother's Day is a day. It's a day. Let's finish it. Uh-huh. We need to use when. Day. When. when. What happens? This when when we day. celebrate. Uh, when we celebrate to our moms. When we celebrate in and make gifts to our, our moms, I think. Okay, maybe when we give gifts mm -hmm. to our mothers, right? Mm -hmm. Does that work? Very good. Yes. All right, another one. Not the one of the party or the, the wedding. Let's skip it. <laughs> okay. A wedding anniversary time. And December. Okay, how we can complete this? How can we complete it? December is a month. When people celebrate the Christmas. When people celebrate, celebrate the Christmas. 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 Just like that, Christmas, all right? Very good. Okay, we're going to practice this through speaking tomorrow and with some exercises, okay? So don't miss class, please. Do you have any questions? 
No. Oh. No? How is this topic? Easy, you think? Uh, yeah. Interesting. Easy. easy. <laughs> it could be easy or interesting. All right. Very good. We will practice tomorrow then. Because if we start, we're, we cannot, we're not going to be able to finish. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. Um, thank you very much for being in class tonight. I will see you tomorrow. If you can't be in class, you know, right? Let me know, please. Please. Okay, no sorry day. for the... Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good night. no problem. Have a good okay, night. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good see night. you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank you, guys. Good night. Good night.